Hello, VC members of the vinyl community. Tony P in the basement. The queen is upstairs. We're having a nice relaxing day. Christmas was at our house this year. I hope you had a nice Christmas. We had a wonderful Christmas for the most part. A couple things, you know, you had some bumps in the road, but that's hey, that's how that happens. Um, I hope you had a great Christmas. I hope everyone is well in your family. Um, the Hacienda is fine. All is well with the world. But I got to share a secret with you. And you tell me what you think. I'll, I'll give you my secret. I joined the vinyl community. I made my first video in April of 2020. And it was, you know, the start of the pandemic. I was laying around the house, didn't have too much to do. I was watching, you know, the usual, Rachel, the music ma'am. I was watching Mazzy, you know, the young kids in there. There's an eight vinyl low is in there. Um... Uh, Run Beaudry. I was watching a little bit of his stuff. Um, there's a lot of others. So, so many great channels anymore out there, you know. Um, and uh, I just started, I decided I was going to do them. And, you know, one thing led to another. Some people, Rachel, Music Man in particular, you know, gave me some reinforcements. Just go ahead and do it. You have a, you have a good time. Uh, don't leave. It's nice. Because I wasn't sure how long I was going to do this stuff. You know, come on. You know. Who wants to listen to a bald-headed, bearded man talk about records? So I did a few. But I didn't tell my family other than my wife. My wife knew. The queen. The queen knows everything. You don't keep nothing from the queen. Because she finds out. She'll give you a <laughs> manade. She'll give you... Um, and... <laughs> We were doing some Christmas shopping and my son, my middle son, Kevin was here. And Kevin is a great kid. I'm, all my kids are fantastic. Don't get me wrong, they're all fantastic. Kevin comes to my house and he doesn't, we weren't home, he, you know, he gets in, he has the code. He gets in and uh, he roots, he looks around, checks things out, opens drawers. He thinks sometimes in the summertime, he thinks my house, my garage is Lowe's. And you go in there if you need a hammer, just come and get it. You need a wrench. Just come over here. Uh, to, to, to a little segue, I was hunting for a pipe wrench. I know I had two of them. And I asked my wife, I said, where's my pipe wrenches? She says, I don't know. So I started talking to the kids. And then Kevin said, yeah, I got it. I said, when did, when did I give them to you? He said, well, well, you really didn't. He said, I came over to the house and you weren't home. And I sort of borrowed them a couple months ago. <clears throat> So, you know, again, they go grocery shopping and not necessarily grocery shopping, but they go, he goes tool shopping. So he's rooting around. And remember Tuco was giving those little buttons with your uh, channel name on them and a, a YouTube member. Well, those were on my shelf about upstairs, not in my, my man cave. And so he says, well, geez, I wonder what this is. Dad has a YouTube channel. Oh, my God. So he goes and searches. He's not stupid. He knows how to use the Internet. And I come walking through the door. <laughs> my son says, hey, Dad, what do you know this YouTube channel? Two from the trunk. And I started to giggle. I said, why? So he, he sort of told me what happened and how it happened. And he thought it was the greatest thing in the world. Uh, my grandkids thought it was even better. And he sits and now he watches these. So he, of course, has to tell his two brothers that daddy has a YouTube channel where he talks about records to other people who have records. Uh, my other two guys said thought, that he thought that was okay. That's great. He's, whatever makes the old man happy, <laughs> which I think is good, right? So I've been outed. Um, and they've been pretty good about it. They they watch a couple, and, they, and my son was like, "What am I going to do?" You know about him discovering this. So this is for him initially. So that's my secret. 
this was a guilty pleasure of mine. So let me let me know what you think about that. A guilty pleasure. I've been outed. The two in a trunk is no longer a secret in the family. So there you have it. Tell me what you think. <laughs> some more of this video some more of this video is also about things that I found at thrift stores. Now thrift store shopping has been kind of slim. I haven't been finding too many things. If you've seen my rant, you know what one of the other uh, Goodwills has done. As a matter of fact, if, if you go back there, I was mad about a, a certain Goodwill that was very close to me, had a box of records that were great uh, rock records, classic rocks. You know, a little bit of Yes in there. There's some Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young in there. There was some uh, Grand Funk Railroad in there, etc., etc. But they were charging like nine, ten, eight dollars for those records and i thought that was you know not right and i didn't buy them and i i talked to the young lady who works there who was a former student of mine she said they're still there she said we don't know what's going to happen so i get said to her well if if they lower the price give me a call she's a good friend of mine um so we'll see what happens they don't keep records there very long i think it's three months until they ship it to another store from what i assume okay so my my vinyl pickings this last time has been pretty slim two 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 records and a cd that i found one neil diamond and jonathan livingston siegel which includes uh uh this, this is the soundtrack from the motion picture I think he did the whole thing. Words of Music by Neil Diamond. Um, I've not seen the movie. And I guess it was a big thing back in the day. There's a, it's a gatefold. There's a beautiful picture of Neil Diamond. That's the inside with their track listings. Um, I think this was somewhere around 1973. 72, 73. That's a great picture. The album has a... It has a booklet that came with it that has uh, the lyrics and some other things, drawings. All right. I don't know what else is back there. Uh, some more lyrics. Beautiful poster type of thing. So that's cute. Uh, tells you a little bit about the uh, who, uh, who was produced by, engineered by. It's a cute little booklet. Great picture of him. Great picture of a young Neil Diamond. I can't get it in there, so we'll keep it out. The record uh, is hermetically sealed inside there. Oh, oh it's, a, it's a top loader. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's a top loader. There's the. Let's see if I can turn that around for you. Because it looks like that. An original. So, Neil Diamond, 99 cents. Okay, folks. Never watched it, never heard it. I can't tell you anything about it because I don't know anything about it. I'll let you know. Uh, second one was a John Denver album called Spirit, 99 cents. Uh, both vinyl on these are you know, fantastic. Interesting. Now this one's a little dirty. That's a lot dirty. So, you know, there is an ERCA. But the vinyl's very good. Vinyl's very good. This is another one I don't know a lot about. Uh, if you know something about the albums, tell me about them, because I really don't know. Uh, come and let me look into your eyes, Eli's song. Wrangle Mountain, Hitchhiker in the Grand Way, Polka Dots and Moonbeams, It Makes Me Giggle, <laughs> uh, Baby You Look Good to Me Tonight, Like a Sad Song, San Antonio Rose, I like that song, uh, Pegasus and the Wings That Fly Us Home. This is probably around 1976, somewhere around there, I believe, but uh, I don't know much about this. I will let you know after I clean it and give a good spin. Uh, 
I want to show this. I don't think I did show this to anybody. I, I found this a while ago. Uh, Herb Albert and the Tia wanted bass. I don't know if I showed this to you or not. This is the best of the brass. Um, uh, you, know, you know that I've been starting to collect Herb Albert only because I find him so much everywhere that there's a great picture of him playing. Um, uh, I don't know exactly where he is, but he's playing. Um, there's some people in there that I don't know who they are, but this is the best of the brass. There is a uh, an insert with all the Herb Albert compilations, I believe, on one side. Okay, so that we'll put that down too. We'll put that back together. That has Cabaret, Thanks for the Memory, Monday, Monday, Slick, Panama, Beautiful Friend, She Touched Me, Talks to the Animals, Belts of Mine, Stilton, Belts, My Hometown, This Guy's in Love with You, The Robin. Yeah. Well, we'll see how that works out, too. Uh, I found a really good CD uh, in my last thrift thing. It's the Billboard uh, 100, is it, I believe? Yeah, this is 1966. Look at that lineup in there. I'm a believer, somewhere in the city, wild thing, hanky panky. When a man loves a woman, you're my soul and inspiration. The righteous brothers got like, I love that voice. Monday, Monday by the Mamas and the Papas, the Good Vibrations, Devil with the Blue Dress, Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wills. You play that song, and, and oh my God, you'll either drive faster or, I don't know, good loving. A uh, little story. My wife and I were on a vacation. We were coming back from Niagara Falls back in the 70s. We were just probably married for a couple of months, maybe a year. And we were coming home from vacation from Niagara Falls. It was a beautiful Sunday morning. It was probably close to 80 degrees. We didn't have, there was no humidity in the air. We had the windows down. The Beach Boys were playing. I was on the Garden State turnpike i think they called it back back then i they probably still call it that i don't know um i saw a policeman in uh, the medium state police new york state policeman pointing at me going and evidently i looked down at my speedometer i was doing 85 miles an hour so he's you know i pulled over and he pulled in behind me lots of flashing he said sir now again, this you gotta remember, this is probably 1977, 76, somewhere around there. He said, sir, do you know how fast you were going? I said, officer, I didn't realize how fast I was going. I was doing 85 miles an hour. He said, we were following you with a helicopter. And buddy, you were traveling. I said, well, I, I, I gave him the story. He said, you're five miles, you're in a town called Brockton, New York. He said, you are five miles from the Pennsylvania, I think he said five miles. I was close to the Pennsylvania border. He said, they're waiting for you on the other side of the border. He says, so I'm going to stop you here and I'm going to give you a ticket, a speeding ticket. In New York, it's $20. In Pennsylvania, it's $55 and $5 for every mile over 55. You do the math. He says, if you go home, mail this $20 into blah, 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 Brockton, New York. Nothing will be heard of. You don't turn this in. We tell Pennsylvania. They give you a fine, along with our fine, and you uh, get points on your license. Trust me, I paid the bill. So, but anyway, it was a nice time. That's what we were doing. But music will do that to you. It got to be careful. But those are my vinyl fines. So, what did I get for Christmas? Well... I got, my kids are, my kids are wonderful. They, they, they ask me and I tell them and they don't disappoint me. They, they give me everything that I ask for, sometimes more. Um, my son gave me a great coffee pot. Thank God. I needed a bar, my old one broke. So it was good. First one I got, uh, Allison Cross and Robert Plant uh, raised the roof. If you've not been on the DC very long, then you know, 
you know this Ellum is very, very good. The gatefold, the gatefold, wonderful, wonderful record. Uh, I believe it's on uh, Rounder. I can't remember who the... Yeah, Rounder. Uh, it's, it's not color, it's just on black vinyl. Something like that. I'll send cross. I don't know if I'm holding it upside down or not. Uh, I guess it comes in a couple different variants. You can get a couple different um, colors. And, and my kids, you know, they... Uh, they'll either download it, yeah, download it. They'll either order it online, or they usually go to Walmart. And I, I can't blame them. My one son said to me, "Is there any place where you can't buy vintage records?" And I had talked to him about record stores. Those do exist. So there's a limited edition sticker. There's two extra songs on here, I guess. Uh, alternate art, I guess that's the cover. But that's one else across. That, it's great. I just played it tonight. It's excellent. The other one I, I didn't have in my collection that I wanted for so long. Um, this is uh, uh, Pet Sounds. Now this is now these are this is a reissue. This is not the original. Bing Bang Boom, but it plays so well, and it's such a such a great album. And it comes in a nice. It comes in a plastic sleeve on its own. Uh, the Beach Boys and the sounds of it. Pet Sounds. Travis Tavis. I'm sorry, I said Travis Tavis. You'll probably see this album again. If you know what I'm talking about, go to Tavis, and he'll tell you. Go to his channel. Uh, talk with uh, talk with Tavis. I'll put a link. He's running a contest. That's why he said that. So, a little shout out for him. Uh, this is a great sounding record. This is uh, the Eagles' uh, best of compilation. But they did something crazy. I have the original. I had the original. And I know it's not, um, the cover is not like, it's, I don't know if you can see this, but the cover actually opens up and the album, let me get these things out of here. The album actually, oh, I just dropped that someplace. The album actually opens up into a huge poster. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. And the album sort of, fits inside there. Now they give you the original inside inner sleeve, but they also gave you a, a plastic lined one too for the inside. What else is cute? Let me put this back so I don't trip on it and fall and kill myself. What was cute that they gave, if I, if I, if I can find it since I dropped it, they also stuck in there a, a tour badge. Is that what that would be? A ticket, a tour badge. I thought that was great. That was laminated, and of course, it was a it was a Walmart exclusive. So you know, but it was excellent. The sound quality was fantastic. That was probably one of the greatest reissues I've heard in a long time. Um, another great one. Played this the other night too. Daryl Hall and John Oates. Uh, rock and roll soul, soul part one. If you find this, you have to get it. This this is fantastic. Uh, there's a, there's a poster insert. Uh, it's on beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, there's a great inner sleeve picture. Daryl Hall and John Oates. Uh, it's on maroon. I would call that a maroon. You probably think it's pink, but I I would call it a maroon. Another great sounding record. Uh, you know, Walmart, sometimes you get, get a bad name, but uh, not in this case, it's fantastic. There was another Walmart exclusive. There's the bat, there's the song list. You get a digital download card, can't beat it, but the sound is fantastic. The original reissues are good. Now, uh, this, this is from the Queen. My original copy from 1971, which plays, but it is it is well past its prime. And this, of course, is Pearl. And Pearl, too, also comes with its plastic sleeve, I believe. Uh, again, 
it's a reissue, but it sounds fantastic. From what I understand and what the cover says to me, the hype, the beautiful hype sticker comes in a plastic, comes in its plastic. And it says um, 180 grams, sourced from the original master. Uh, jacket meticulously recreated from the original art. Uh, it's an HQ180 premium vinyl pressing. I have no idea what that means, but it sounds pretty good. Uh, the record sounds fantastic. I am so happy. Uh, the last one I got for Christmas was the Essential Bob Dylan. Now, if you're a Bob Dylan fan, this is another one. You know, the reissues are so good. They sound so nice. Uh, this is fantastic. Bob Dylan, the only thing I don't like about it, uh, they put two albums in one cover. And I didn't have enough, I didn't have a chance to put that in plastic yet. But um, it's, it, they're great sounding. They are great sounding reissues. Um, but I got the, that's the music I got for Christmas. So there you have it. You know, you, you know a dirty little secret. You saw some thrift store finds. You saw some vinyl I got for Christmas. So, hey, please like and subscribe. Um, to all my subscribers, thank you very much. I appreciate the fact that you stick around for a little bit. Uh, watch some of the things I love. Please comment. Say say something. Say say hello. Um, I, I appreciate that. And and I, I and I try to answer everyone back who leaves a comment. Um, but uh, thank you. I hope you have a gracious new year. I hope everything turns out well for you. I hope God finds you well. I hope God blesses your house and your family. Um, I hope he, he blesses our country. Um, that's all I got for you. Tony P from the basement of the Hacienda. The queen is upstairs doing queenly things. She's making more pizzelles, I think. So, okay. God bless you. Bye-bye. TTFN from 2FTT. Bye-bye-bye. <laughs>